mass legions of the Lawn players doing a little bit of wood. Uh, we've had some modern folk singing from Kate Doubleday. We've had storytelling. We've had a chap giving a really fascinating talk about Patagonia. Uh, we've had a comedian. Um, and tonight uh, we're very lucky to have Duke Cowan, who's performing a one-woman show based on the folk revival in the 60s and 70s. So everybody, cheers. from heaven onto Black Dog Way, I picked up a reed and began to play. On a penny-pinched journey from spring to sea, the priest and the parish man can never catch me. I met a milkmaid asleep by a lake. I crept in her eardrum and tapped her awake. The salt of the earth melts the snow on the hills. I have no lovers, but the death We drank Earl Grey tea. The tablecloth was draped palest blue, and the clock beat out a military tattoo. Beyond the bay window, an owl called. Just as soft, light snow was beginning to fall. We played forfeits during twelve days of solitude. Drake leapt upon the hawk. Marade smiled looked him straight in the eyes. Charlie turned pale, and we sang our wassail. Jolly old hawk and his wings were grey, sent to my love on the twelfth most day. Jolly old hawk and his wings were grey, sent to my love on the twelfth most day. Now let us sing. Going to win the girl but me. Twelve old boars and they was a roaring. Eleven old mares and they was a brawling. Ten old cocks crowed out in the morning. Nine old boars and they was a quarrelling. Jolly old hawk and his wings were grey. Sent to my love on the twelfth most day. Eight old bulls and they was a blaring. Seven old calves and they drove before. And six old cows and they was a bellowing. Five foot feet and a fairy. Jolly old hawk and his wings were grey. Sent to my love on the twelfth most day. A four footed pig and a three thistle cock. And two little birds and a jolly old hawk. Jolly old hawk and his wings were grey. Now let us sing, who's going to win the girl but me? And the snow melted, and all the plants began to stretch their green tendrils out towards the eyes, the ears, and the wallets of the record companies. EMI, Polydor, and my label, Fat Fryer, Fat Fryer, Fat Fryer. Thought's going to be the next big thing. Bloody marvellous. Bloody marvellous. As I, as I, as I, as I, as I walked out, as I walked out one midwinter morning, I saw three ships. As I walked out, as I, as I, as I, as I, as I, as I, as I walked out one May morning, May time. Sweet lovers love the spring. I passed by a bush. in the grooves in a wood. I was walking down in the meadow when I met a charming young fellow. He called me his lovely. My lad, my lad, my lad, nobody would tell us what to do. Down in the meadow the other day, gathering flowers. Gay. 
the ship that sails the sea. Laden as deep as deep can be. And that's as deep as the love I knew. Who knows not where I sink or swim. I think we need a new singer. Anybody want to audition for our band? All I need is one line. Or a folk song. Any folk song. Anybody? You, sir, you look like you'd do great in our band. Please. What's your band called? Well, we haven't got a name no. yet. It's all open. It's all up for grabs. Shall I just do the line? Yes, please. Oh, I, I love the lass. And I love her pretty well. That's beautiful, you a bit more, please. <laughs> <laughs> that I hated all others, for her that spackle. Spackle? Ah, spackle, I like that. Very old-fashioned, it's got a certain, yes, ancient quality to it. Spackle, you don't hear that much these days, no. do you? People spackle, well. All right. Anybody else wish to audition for the band? That's, that's, um, we've got one person already. <coughs> Don't expect too much. I'm very nervous in auditions. <laughs> All around my hat, I will wear a green willow. I met my girl by the gasworks wall. Is that what? Well, I thought maybe, because you're all so wonderful, maybe you can all be in the band and we can do a song from Peter, Paul, and Mary, who are um, a simple little song if anybody wants to join in. And if you don't, I shall sing it on my own. Hey. Nobody home, meat nor drink nor money have I none, but I will be merry, hey. Oh, nobody home, meat nor drink nor money have I none, but I will be merry, hey. Oh, nobody home, meat nor drink nor money have I none, but I will. Drink nor money have I none, but I will be merry. It's one of those songs that people used to sing when they went round knocking on doors to get money from people. Um, I think, you know, money or food or that kind of thing, uh, the general wassail type of song that they used to do. So it would be great. <laughs> Just a little humanly. <laughs> hey, ho, nobody ho.
and the one before that took too many drugs, and the one before that ran off to Ireland with the bassist, and the one before that became pregnant, and the one before that couldn't sing a note, not a note in tune. Oh, we've had them all here. The bands stay the same, the personnel jump ship, and everyone's in bed with everybody else. Bellamy, Carty, Swarbrick, Collins, Hopper, Briggs, Remborn, Jansch, Williamson, Palmer, McCall, or was it Jimmy Miller? That was his real name. Waterson, Seeger, Drake, Faye, all the pretty flower boys. Royston, Harden, Wesley of Lancaster, Ten Lords, the Leaping, Heron, Hoggle, Buckley, McShee, Cox, Casper, Blake, Cameron, Stewart, Loach, Thompson, Thompson, Thompson. They were all called Thompson, it was going great. I had a makeshift studio in Camden Town. Jackie was running a folk club in Sutton. There were two guitarists set up shop in Primrose Hill. One of them was Renborn, yeah? The rave was in Clerkenwell, learning to be a teacher, cooking great dinners, quiche and curry. <laughs> that was before we all gave up eggs. But after the meal, it was the alcohol, I tell you. The, well, you know, the alcohol flowed. It just it was everywhere, like everywhere. I mean, it, what do you fancy? It was lined up. Pale ale, real ale, brown ale, pink ale, green ale, 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 ale. I can see it now, across the top of the bar. A toast to you, to you, to you, my fine fellows. We had it all. And then, the hangovers, the headaches. They followed as sure as the fox follows the geese. But I was always my most creative during a hangover. Mm. How much have you had to drink tonight? <laughs> oh yes, there was that song we used to sing. I used to sing to keep myself in check when we were drunk, you know. We couldn't walk the line, all that sort of thing. And they used this song to do one of the songs from The Wicker Man, when they made all the folk music for The Wicker Man film. It was one of the inspirations for, for that music. You remember that one, when they set a big Wicker Man on fire and burnt Edward Woodward? <laughs> Beat a tune on the back of my hand. I'm leaving London with the rest of my band. Come on, Pippin, let's go. Straight on until morning. Love beckons us into the farmyard. Marie 
Adelaide's great grandma at the garden fence clutching her pitchfork, and the great geese running like the clappers before the wheelbarrow. Oh, it dwelt, sprang cold. It tasted of samphire and it tasted of vinegar. Nobody mentioned we'd have no running water. <laughs> and I can't believe there's no electricity. How did they stand it in the 15th century? <laughs> Jesus was a bit of a superhero, I would say. Superhero child. <coughs> As it fell out on a May morning, small rain from heaven did fall. Lord Jesus to his mother said that he would play at ball. At ball, at ball, my own dear son. This time that you were gone But don't let me hear of any doings At night when you come home <laughs> So it's up links gone and down links gone Our sweet young saviour ran And there he espied three rich little lords Good morning to each one Good morning, good morning, good morning he said Good morning, then said they, and which of you three fine children will play at the ball with me? Yeah. Oh, we are lords and ladies' sons, born in a bower and hall, and you are nothing but a poor maid's child, born in an oxen stall. Oh, if I'm nothing but a poor maid's child, born in an oxen stall, I'll make you believe in your latter end, for I'm an angel above you all. So he built him a bridge of the beams of the sun, and over the water crossed he. Then three little lords followed after him, and drowned they were all three. <laughs> so it's up links gone, and down links gone, their mothers ran to cry. Oh, Mary, my old fetch home your child, for hours he's made to die. So Mary, my old fetched home her child, and laid him across her knee. And with the branch of a withy tree, she gave him slashes three. Oh, withy, oh, it's a withy. You've caused me to smart, and the withy shall be the very first tree to perish at the heart. Oh, oh have you noticed my guitar? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a Takamine with a Martin head. Very nice. 
association with the people of the soil. That's why we relate to old songs about work, even though our parents think we're just mucking about and we should get a proper job. And that's why we sing songs about the hard times. And this one's from the Copper family, who are um, the rural family of singers, passing songs from generation to generation in Sussex. Come on, brother tradesmen that travel along. Come pray, tell me now where the trade is all gone. A long time have I traveled and have not found none. Singing all the hard times of old England. In old England, very hard times. Provisions they sell at the shop, it is true. But if there's no money, there's none there for you. So what's the poor man and his family to do? Singing all the hard times of old England. In old England, very hard times. You can go to the shop, you can ask for a job. They'll answer you there with a shake and a nod. It's enough to make a poor man turn out and rob, singing all the hard times of old England. In old England, very hard times. You can see the poor tradesmen a walk in the street from morning to night for employment to seek. And scarcely has he any souls to his feet, singing all the hard times of old England. In old England, very hard times. Our soldiers and sailors have gone to the war, been fighting for their king and country for sure. Come home to be starved, better stay where they were, singing all the hard times of old England. In old England, very hard times. And so to conclude, and finish my song. I hope that these hard times, they will not last long. Then I'll have occasion to alter my song and sing all the good times of old England. In old England, jolly good times. <laughs> Grazing rights gone, Eden appropriated, our garden snatched by the devil himself. Is it any wonder I gave up the guitar? In the old days, they didn't use them anyway. They only sung. Not, maybe they played pipe or tabor, but even before that, it was not a bagapella, it was just for it. Like the Watersons. The Watersons, they were the poor children of nowadays, who would, who would sing the, the primeval folk songs, the folk songs of magic and the folk songs of mystery, the folk songs of the seasons. Lal Waterson, she told me that the group used this trick. There were four of them singing, maybe one or two of them would make an odd noise, like a screech, and that would sort of make the mix really work, it would mold the sound together. They were lucky, the Waterstones. They were family. They weren't going to sleep together and destabilize the sound. <laughs> but for us musicians, 
tradition is it's stickful. You know, it's our artistic temperament, really, isn't it? You know, um, it's the thrill, the lure of the chase. She looked out of the window as white as any ink mill. And he looked in at the window as black as any sill. Hello, 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 you cold blacksmith. You have done me no harm. You never shall have me made and hair that I have kept so long. I'd rather die a maid of the thing she said and be buried all in me grave. Since I have such a nasty, husky, dusky, fusky, musky, cold blacksmith, a maid and I will die. He became a star, a star all in the night, and he became a thundercloud and muffled her out of sight. Hello, 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 you coal blacksmith. You have done me no harm. You never shall have me made and have that I have kept so long. I'd rather die you made up of them, she said, and be buried all in me grave. And to have such a nasty, fusky, dusky, musky, husky, cold blacksmith, a maid and I will die. Dee 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 She became a rose, a rose all in the wood, and he became a bumblebee and kissed her where she stood. Hello, 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 you cold blacksmith. You have done me no harm. You never shall have me made and head that I have kept so long. I'd rather die a maid up the then she said, and be buried all in me grave. Than to have such a nasty, fusky, husky, musky, dusky, cold blacksmith. A maid and I shall die. She became a corpse, a corpse all in the ground. And he became the cold earth and smothered her all around. Hello, 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 you cold blacksmith. You have done me no harm. You never shall have me made and head that I have kept so long. I'd rather die of made Ah, but then she said, I'll be buried all in the ground. And to have such a nasty, husky, fusky, musky, husky, cold blacksmith. A maid and I will die. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie Pryor. She, she's an odd one. Do you not think sometimes? <laughs> she's kind of, I kind of, sometimes I don't know quite what I think when I hear, hear her voice. And then I think, and all that stuff. But I think, maybe I'm glad she's there. Because if she wasn't there, all the girls would be quite ethereal. He called it his horny cartorium. <laughs> it was a white van and he parked it wonky outside the club in St. Albans, blocking the butcher's alley. I saw inside it once because I had to get an amp. Drake had, had, had blown his up pouring a pint of beer over it when it was well meant for Charlie really and in that white van it was a strange world it was padded with carpets and lit by a lava lamp with pots and dipshit no wonder so many maidens slipped their clothes off up over their heads arms tangled in velvet and paisley very few tips brown eyes cute as a squirrel he had an amazing record in Richard. But I've never tolerated the smell of joss sticks. <laughs> this one's on its record. You know this one? Legion Leap. Fairport Convention. This is considered by the BBC to be the most influential folk record of all time. Of all time, so they say. Yeah. But what does that mean, really? We are in all making folk again for each generation does it in, in their own way we're all singing covers of covers of covers of covers of covers so what's on here to make it the most influential folk record of all time side one first track come all ye you could say
say that's a rallying call to the folk calls, come all ye. The second track, Rainady. That's about um, a fox man that lures delicate young ladies to his mountain, uh, his mountain green home where he does, well, I don't know, he eats them or what he does, but he does something naughty. And the third one, Matter Grow. Well, I'm going to sing this one, which is quite something, because this is one of Sandy Denny's big songs, and we all know people thought so much of her, so it's we all do make folk differently. We'll shoot the shit out of it. A holiday, a holiday, and the first one of the year. Your daughter's wife came to the church, the gospel for to hear. And when the sermon it was done, she cast her eyes about. And there she espied little Matty Groves walking in the crowd. Come home with me, little Matty Groves, come home with me tonight. Come home with me, little Matty Groves, and sleep with me till light. Oh, I can't come home, I won't come home and sleep with you tonight. By the rings and fingers I can see you are Lord Donald's wife. Yes, yes, I am Lord Donald's wife, Lord Donald's not at home. He is out at the far corn fields bringing the yearlies home. And when a servant standing by heard all that was said, she swore Lord Donald he would know before the sun would set. And in his hurry to carry the news, he bent his breast and ran. And when he came to the broad mill stream, he took off his shoes and swam. Matty, he laid down his head and took a little seat. When he awoke, Lord Darnell, he was standing at his feet, saying, How do you like my feather bed? How do you like my sheets? How do you like my lady who lies in your arms with me? Oh, well, I like your feather bed, and well, I like your sheets. Better I like your lady who lies in my arms asleep. Well, get up, get up, get up, he said. Get up as quick as you can. It'll never be said in fair England I slew a naked man. Oh, I can't get up, I won't get up, I can't get up for my life. For you have two long beaten swords and I not a pocket knife. It is true I have two beaten swords and they cost me deep in the purse. And you shall have the better of them and I will have the worse. And you will strike the very first blow and strike it like a man. For I will strike the very next blow and I'll kill you if I can. So Matty struck the very first blow and he hurt Lord Darnell sore. Lord Darnell struck the very next blow and Matty struck no more. Lord Darnell then he took his wife and put her on his knee. Said, who do you like the best of us, Matty Groves or me? Lord Darnell's wife then spake up, never heard to speak so free. Said, better a kiss from dead Matty's lips than you and your finery. Lord Darnell, he then jumped up and loudly he did roar. He struck his wife right through the heart and pinned her against the wall. A grave, a grave, Lord Darnell cried to put these lovers in. But bury my lady at the top, for she was of noble kin. It's always the girls who get caught in these affairs. And Drake, well, he was really sensitive. He was a bit like his dad, really. They were very similar. Even the way they used to pick up a pint of beer, or the fact that they wore odd socks. And um, yeah, his dad had been a conscientious objector in the war, and Drake was always singing about peace. They were two peas in a pod. Oh, if I'd known how bad it was, I wouldn't have left him that night. It was in the rage we found him. Still, it was her fault, really. So I think she kind of deserved it, and I never, never, never want to speak to her again. Pleasure and party 
Loving is a dream An inconstant lover is worse than a thief A thief who could rob me and take all I have But an inconstant lover will bring me to the grave Oh, the grave will receive me and bring me to dust an inconstant lover, no maiden may trust. He'll court you, cajole you, and then he will leave. There's not one fancy a maiden can believe. Come on, you young maidens, wherever you may be. Your hearts do not hang them on a sycamore tree. The root it will wither, the leaves will decay. Alack, I'm forsaken and wasting away. William Blake, please set it off. Songs of experience, songs of innocence. I think he must have had some of this. <laughs> you need this. You need this to understand history, really. It seems so much clearer. <laughs> 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 That's better. Dandelion, dandelion, fly away home. Your stamens glow purple, your children are stoned. <laughs> Harvest the weed, roll up that joint. The elder itch are bored and there's no frigging point. <laughs> Where the moss grows weary, oh, earth shall tremble together. The wind is old, the trees are cold, and leaves whisper together and bend in the wind. Oh, next week a monkey is coming to tea. <laughs> If I had a witch's hat sitting on my head like a paraffin stove, I'd fly away and be a bat. Gently I throw tight notes, walking, walking, one first after another, wearing black stockings in. <laughs> Mattel, Jones, Anderson, Roberts, Love and Revenge, Ashley, Marty, Richard the Lionheart, El McPheron, Peters, Louis, Milano, Valencia. Campion, flow my tears, flow my tears on the park bench. Up in the train from Deal to Charing Cross to Leeds Church in Chelsea to Rock Hill in West Sussex, the weekly pilgrimage up Leathers Lay, intelligent descent where we quit over differences through the rugged overtone. Bathe in incantation, up with the devil's tritones, down over the statuette, pan and roll down the stone slope until night comes. And a long, heavy silence breathes into a midnight lake. England fell asleep at the wheel, drunk, besotted, flustered on melancholy, and the amps pitched out of the back of the van, sewing themselves all over the motorway, smashing open the Disturbing the dragon, smoothing and white chalk. There were whoppers and there were tweeters all the way from Land's End to John O'Groat's mouth. They're still soldering those tables. <laughs> Lamble, oh Lamble, little sweet Lamble, dead in the transit van on the M1. <laughs> that night, little Bo Peep lost all her sheep. <laughs>
I saw mankind's true fate, standing firm against the void. Ever spent the night in a lich gate in Salad Penitence. We used to sit in the medieval days, in the long ago days, looking after the body of our deceased. When they had just died, before the Christian ceremony took place, to protect them while they passed through purgatory. And during this time, we would fast, we would eat, we would not eat. We would not eat, we would not drink. And we would sing. This say me, this say me, every need and the fire and sleet and candle lit and Christ preserve thy soul. When from hence away art past, every need and dull, to win him would thou comest at last, and Christ receive thy soul. The feather thou gavest, hosen and shoon, Every neat and dull, sit thee down and put them on, and Christ receive thy soul. If hosen and shoon thou never gavest main, every neat and dull, oh, when he will prick thee to the bare bane, and Christ receive thy soul. When from any mood thou art past, every need and dull, to the twig or dead thou comest at last, and Christ receive thy soul. When from brig or dead thou art past, every need and dull, to purgatory fire thou comest at last, Christ receive thy soul. If ever thou gavest meat and drink, every meat and dull, the fire shall never make thee shrink, and Christ receive thy soul. If meat and drink thou never gavest name, every meat and dull, the fire shall burn thee to the bare bane, and Christ receive thy soul. This say me, this say me, every need and all. Fire and sleet and candle lit, and Christ receive thy soul. in Cornwall. When she hit her head, she must have hit her head. And the headaches, the headaches, they, they got worse. But her mum didn't want to take her to hospital because she said, she said that she didn't want everybody to see her drink, or see her drunk, see her daughter drunk. And she had been drinking, yeah. yeah. And a few days before, a few days before, her husband had taken their daughter and gone to Australia and left her to deal with that. So, so you know, things come to an end. One in